Hi, I'm Haley Hudgers reporting from San Antonio for Eagle Vision. Students from all across Texas came to compete in the Texas Association of Journalism Educators Fall Fiesta UIL competition. Students walk the streets of San Antonio competing in video and photography competitions. Other students competed in the news, editorial, broadcast, and future writing inside the historic Gunther Hotel. It was a trip with lots of beautiful scenery and excitement. New Katie students interviewed protesters from Occupy San Antonio. We are the 99%. Students from journalism, photography, and video technology won some awards. The San Antonio students did a lot. What's up? Peace. And it was a lot of fun. Why can't we be friends? 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 Coming to you today from San Antonio is Eagle Vision. San Antonio is an exciting place with a lot of different cultures and people. We arrived for the Texas Association of Journalism Educator Fall Fiesta around noon. We to our hotel to visit a nearby McDonald's to grab some lunch. We came across some protesters on our way to the McDonald's involved in an event called Occupy San Antonio. The protesters were upset with an alleged Wall Street involvement in the current economic downturn. We are the 99%! <laughs> yes, we are! Like, what is exactly going on with the Occupy San Antonio right now? What is, what are you trying to say to the people? Um, well, my personal opinion might not reflect the opinions of everyone else here, but what I and my friends have basically been trying to do is educate the general public and bring them into awareness about um, how corrupt the Federal Reserve has gotten and how they've infiltrated our government. In addition to protesting downtown, they occupied portions of the Hemisphere Park in San Antonio. So John, uh, so can you just give us a, a layup of what exactly is the Occupy Wall Street for the people that are uh, in, wanting to know out there? Well basically I do have a little flyer here, a little leaflet. You can always go to OccupySanAntonioTX.com. That's our website and I'll tell you all about it. And also, uh, Basically, it's, it's corporate greed. A lot of people in America are fed up and tired with the corporate greed. It's not filtering down to the normal public citizen that's getting seven, eight dollars a month. I mean, they're making three, four hundred thousand dollars a year to start with. By the time they're out of office or out of their CEO position, they're getting 30, 40 million dollars. The uh, federal government got, the federal banks got bailed out with our state money. And it's just, it's just not politically right. Not everyone on the streets of San Antonio understood the reason for the protest. <laughs> I don't think it's much, one, one way or the other to tell you the truth. I think it's mostly, I expect most of the people protesting and demonstrating are doing it because they like to be seen and heard. I don't know enough details about exactly why people are doing what they're doing there. You know, San Antonio sometimes is a little bit removed from things that are happening in the rest of the country, but even with the news media, it's one-sided. I don't think it matters that they're protesting. Nothing is going to change. There's too, man, too much of a distance now between the rich and the middle <laughs> class is disappearing. You know, yeah, it's not good. Though most protesters were serious in getting out their message, most of the San Antonio people were more interested in partying. And I'm glad that, that people are finally protesting and, uh, you know, usually, you know, doing anything that's that's in their right to do, you know, saying, and I think people should, should, you know, band together and everything. From San Antonio and with Eagle Vision, I'm Morgan Kahn. The San Antonio students did a lot. And we'll take a look at more fun things on Eagle Vision next week. Be sure and watch. Amanda 
Hood coming to you from San Antonio, Texas. While here, New Caney students participated in a photography competition for UIL. Congratulations to Danny Lee Rivera and Macy Wyatt for placing. Students spent most of Saturday photographing San Antonio. Competitors came from all across Texas. Um, they have five different topics. Um, taste of San Antonio, people, motion. Um, what were the other two? Uh, one was their choice. There were many things going on in San Antonio that were very exciting. San Antonio has a lot of activity and beautiful scenery to offer. Good job, New Katie students, for all the hard work. Stay tuned for some deadly fun. It's cool morning, isn't it? Yeah. So did you hear about that zombie mom? Yeah. I was in it. That's why I'm drinking this to wake me up. So do you do this like every year it happens? No, this is, well, I, I've heard about it every year, but this is my first time. Do you, like, are you having fun so far? It was cool. All the little kids screaming was kind of getting annoying. But other than that, I, like, I really like people who put thought into their little get up they had. How long did it take you to put your makeup on? Uh, actually, I didn't. She did, and it took her about 30 minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so, do you think you're going to be doing this like more often? I'll definitely come around next year to check it out, see how it looks and stuff. I did it last year, too. How long did it take you to do this special makeup? I started. It took me two and a half hours, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. You seem very dedicated. Yeah, and then I did theirs in between. Well, this was drying, and then I moved to them, and then dry. Oh, that's really cool. So, do you plan on doing this again? Of course. Cool. Um, how long did it take for your makeup to be done today? Like an hour, like a, like a, like one hour. Did you have fun today? Yes. Are you gonna do it again next year? Uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> the zombies scare you? Uh, yes. <laughs> did, did, did you scare yourself when you looked in the mirror? Uh, no, I kind of. These are zombie killers. These are redneck zombie killers. Well, I think this was a fifth or the sixth annual zombie walk. This was the best one we've ever done. I'll tell you why. Because all these zombies tonight, and I mean each and every one of these zombies tonight, was so animated. They were so on top. They were so great. Next year, I don't know. They got a lot to live up to. That's all I'm saying. So for uh, 2011 Zombie Walk, all right. Can we see your best zombie face? Signing off at the Alamo, I'm Haley Hodges from Eagle Vision. Remember, no school on Monday. Be safe on Halloween. Don't drink and drive.